Hi guys, it's Tiffany. Today, I kind of wanted to have a casual talk with you, friend to friend, about something that I thought has been really important and something that I've been kind of reflecting on a lot. How to figure out what you want to do in your life and how exactly I was able to do that and find my passion in my career, which is UX design. If I were to look at myself five years ago, five years ago I was struggling. I was at a job where I wasn't fully happy with what I was doing and I wasn't feeling really fulfilled. In fact, a lot of the times I feel like I was just watching Netflix all day on the side as I was like typing down documentations. I really didn't feel like there was purpose in my life then and I felt like I was just kind of wasting it away and all I wanted at the time was trying to find out what career I wanted to do that made me feel like there was purpose, that I enjoyed doing, that gave me a great work-life balance. And I knew deep down that I wanted more in life. That was kind of the turning point that made me realize, okay, I need to try to look for something else. So what I did was I found myself going on Google a lot of the times and looking up how to figure out what you want to do in your life and I can promise you if you look on Google today there are so many different articles that talk about that um, not everyone has it figured out and that's completely okay I was in college I studied a major that I didn't even use really and I think that it takes time like you're lucky to actually be able to find what you want to do for the rest of your life and I took a lot of online quizzes trying to figure out what personality I had and which jobs were well suited for me so you can see how many hours I spent doing all of that stuff and so I feel like the best thing that I can tell you is do trial and error. I can't emphasize how important it is to be able to try out all the different career paths out there when you're younger. Because I feel like that's a time where you should be able to discover yourself, explore all these different areas that you're not even sure that you're interested in. So as I was working at that company, on the side, I started to look up different jobs. I started trying out different things. Um, I think what I did at a couple of points was I started working at a sales company and I did lots of cold calls thinking maybe I was into marketing or something more creative like that. And then I also did wedding planning for a little bit. I interned for a wedding planning company, um, thought that was super creative. I did have fun with it, but I realized that I wasn't sure exactly that's actually what I wanted to do full time. As you start trying all these things, you might not exactly figure out what you want to do, but you start to narrow out and narrow down what you don't want to do. Think about it. You have a bunch of different jobs out there. There's like a hundred different options out there. If you start doing each of these, then eventually you'll figure out, okay, I don't like like A, B, C, and you narrow those out. So it narrows down your choices and then eventually you'll start to narrow down and figure out a little bit more the direction that you want to go towards. So I feel like that's one of the biggest tips I could have for you if you're a beginner trying to figure out what you want to do. Look up different jobs out there. Look up things that you're interested in. Try it out and then do it and figure out if that's something that you're leaning towards or something that you don't really want to do and switch directions. Another thing that I did was talking to a lot of different people about my wants and needs and just being transparent about like what I wanted to do with my life and not really sure exactly what it was. Because along the way, when you start talking to different people, you never know exactly who could help you out. It could be someone that was like a stranger that you met or someone that was a coworker that you might have talked to. They might know someone that could help you. So what happened was my sister actually had a friend that was very similar to me. He was extremely smart, super creative, and he told her about a job called UX design, something I've never heard of. I never even heard about it in school. And that's kind of when I started looking more into it. And then as soon as I started looking more into it and reading about it, I realized, oh, it seems like something that's along my line and aligns with my values and everything that I want to do. And so I started talking to people about this new field that I learned about called UX design. And little did I know, there was a random coworker that talked to me about how she had a friend that was also in UX design. And so she introduced me to that friend and I was able to network with a bunch of UX designers just because I kind of talked about it to people. Like no one will ever know what you want to do or how you're really feeling unless you tell them. And I feel like as you start talking about it, it opens up those doors and it and it opens up the ability for you to meet people that potentially could help you get into that direction that you want to go. So I just wanted to encourage you that if you are struggling and you don't know 
what you want to do with your life, then it's totally okay. I've been there. A lot of other people have been there. Keep continuing to try to learn new things, explore new different areas that you might find interest in because I honestly truly believe, there's this one quote, um, what's it called? If you continue to do what you want to do, then you will be where you want to be. And I think that's totally true. Imagine doing something that you don't really want to do every day. Then that'll be really hard for you to to figure out that path in life that you want to go. So I would highly recommend doing that. Um, don't quit searching. There are so many different resources out there today. Like we live in the world where there's the internet. That's amazing. We've got so many YouTube videos out there that we can look at and learn new things and books and just articles and so many different resources. So I'd say really take advantage of that and the time that you live in and try to use that to your advantage I think that those are the things that really helped me mentally. Um, definitely came with a lot of crying and a lot of frustrations, times where I was like, oh my gosh, someone just tell me already because I don't know and I need to figure it out. But honestly, no one can answer that question for you. That's something that you kind of have to figure out for yourself and then eventually you'll get there if you just don't quit. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. <laughs> I might have rambled a little bit, kind of was a little bit of a mess, but I hope that this helped you out. And if you did, give this a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye friends.